J.K. Rowling has been getting attacked from the lunatics on the left-hand side on Twitter for a very, very long time, calling her all kinds of horrible things. Well, she's finally had enough and is pushing back, and she made one of them take a massive L, and it was absolutely glorious. So it says here, J.K. Rowling critic forced to publicly apologize for calling her a Yahtzee after lawsuit threat. Now, for those that don't know this, there are certain words that you are not allowed to say on YouTube. No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. And that is one of them. So in replace of it, I just refer to it as Yahtzee. So when you hear that word, keep in mind what exactly that means. So as I stated before, J.K. Rowling has been getting tons of backlash from people on Twitter. And because she's always said things of this nature. Back in 2020, she wrote a tweet that said, quote, If sex isn't real, there's no same-sex attraction. If sex isn't real, the lived reality of women globally is erased. I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It isn't hate to speak the truth. Now, for most people, that is a normal, non-controversial statement. But see, we're not dealing with normal people when it comes to Twitter. We're dealing with a lot of insanity and mental illness, just like one of these people, how they respond. So back in 2022, Rowling responded to one of her detractors of that tweet, and she wrote, The thing about the solicitor's game is everyone can play, JJ. I ignored your hyperbolic metaphor about burning me to death back in 2020, but I'm starting to think that was a mistake. What's your solicitor's view on this Yahtzee accusation? Would they advise you to defend it in court? So this J.J. Wells character responded to that with a now deleted tweet and said, quote, saying that she was a Yahtzee or at least has views that align with them. Rowling then responded again and said, okie dokie, J.J., we'll play it your way. Give my regards to your solicitor. Now, just this past Monday, two months after the initial accusation, this J.J. Wells character made a public apology on Twitter, and they wrote, I would like to publicly apologize for a previous Twitter thread where I interacted with J.K. Rowling on matters relating to the transgender community. I have now removed these tweets and would like to apologize to her directly for causing potential upset. He also tweeted, I would also like to retract my likening to J.K. Rowling to any far right or Yahtzee organization and emphasize I do not wish any individual inclusive of J.K. Rowling to come to any harm. This is exactly what needs to happen. All of these people that say these type of slanderous stuff online, I am 100% about freedom of speech, but I also believe in accountability. And if you're going to say these types of things, you need to have consequences for those actions. So a lot of these lunatics never had consequences. They've never had to deal with it because of how they've been raised. Well, now finally, since J.K. Rowling has the financial funds to threaten these people with lawsuits, now they're going to start feeling the heat because if she decides to take them to court, if she decides to push them, she can bankrupt them because she has the money to do so. And this is the type of behavior that needs to happen to stop this nonsense. Hold these idiots that do this kind of nonsense, that attack people, hold them accountable. So this person on Twitter responded about how glorious this situation is with her push, with J.K. Rowling pushing back on these lunatics and says, J.K. Rowling is on an absolute tear suing Twitter wokies that say she's a Yahtzee. UK libel laws are robust. They are now issuing beautiful groveling apologies. Something tells me J.J. did not expect to be dominated by a woman in 2023. Another Twitter wrote this, which I found absolutely hilarious. Piles of cash generated by millennials buying boy wizard novels and watching films are now being applied in vast quantities to threaten those same millennials with defamation lawsuits. The circle of life. And like I said, I'm glad that she's actually doing this. Maybe it'll stop these people from harassing. Because look, you don't have to agree with everything that everybody says. But at the end of the day, they sit there and they call the people that they don't agree with a Yahtzee when in fact they are the actual Yahtzees. They are the ones that want you to think a certain way, act a certain way, and do all the things that they want you to do. They are the ones that are the problem, not the ones that just want to be left alone. But let me know what you think in the comments below about this. I find this hilarious and I'm glad it's happening. But again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you like this video, hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.